For more than 10 years, a group of scientists in South Korea have been researching changes to the polar climate, and recently they came back from an expedition to the Arctic on Korea's icebreaker ship. Our Chairman Jung with this report. Just a few weeks ago, a team of South Korean experts returned from an 85-day trip to the North Pole. I'm here at the Korea Polar Research Institute to meet the researchers in Songdo. The Korea Polar Research Institute, or COPRI for short, has been researching the changes in the Arctic Ocean for 12 years. During their latest trip, researchers carried out simultaneous ozone observations at both poles using helium balloons. Everyone knows that there is an ozone hole over Antarctica, but even in the Arctic, ozone levels are gradually decreasing. That's why it's important to monitor ozone concentrations in the Arctic as well. Kopri says its advances in polar research have been accelerated by the introduction of South Korea's first and only icebreaker ship, the Araon. It's specially designed to navigate across icy waters, allowing it to sail through areas where ordinary ships can't, including the polar regions. The Araon rises above the ice sheet to break the ice using its own weight. Two propellers at the back push the broken pieces of ice away to prevent them from freezing again near the vessel. If the Araon gets stuck in the middle of an ice sheet, the ice healing system shakes the vessel to the left and right to help it escape. And unlike how most ships are shaped in the front, it has a sharper sloping bow and an ice knife underneath. It's also structurally stronger with outer walls three times thicker than ordinary ships. Inside the Araon, there are 10 research labs. Scientists send research equipment into the sea and collect samples to bring to the labs for analysis. This is where the researchers sleep and rest. There is a bed, a TV, and a shower room. Enough to keep them comfy for the trip. Another key spot of the Araon is the helipad. Because it can carry its own helicopter, Many experts have found this very useful. Uh, helicopter access from the Iran is key to what they're going to attempt to do because the area is quite, it's quite dangerous, frankly, and you need to be able to land on a spot that's safe. The contributions made by Copri are being acknowledged globally, despite it being a relatively late starter to polar research. I think the, the icebreaker to a large extent is is uh, important in terms of making Copri more and more relevant. And if we look at um, other big international uh, collaborations, Copri is now in all of them. South Korea's researchers are currently busy as they are gearing up for their next journey, this time heading south. The Araon will be taking off to Antarctica this week, where experts on board will be spending the next six months observing how climate change is affecting the polar area. Chemin Dong. Arirang News, Yosu.